Well, how do you say? I'm not Local, sure. Uh, maybe uh, outdoor market? Yes, outdoor market. Okay. Some vegetables, some fruits, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish you could teach me some Moroccan dishes. That would be awesome. <laughs> Moroccan dishes? Yes. Uh, you, you're in Morocco, right? Turkey. No? Turkey. Turkey. Right, Turkey. I'm sorry, Servette. Yes. I, I, I keep thinking Morocco. I'm sorry. <laughs> totally different. Yes. Tur Turkish dishes, I'm. I can get very easily. There's a few uh, Turkish restaurants here. Mm. And, uh, uh, Turkish sweets are delicious. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee. You can find doner or kebab. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, kebabs are very uh, super popular, but they don't call them kebabs. They call them uh, shawarma. Uh, shawarma. Mm -hmm. yeah. What, what, what's the difference between a shawarma and kebab? Shawarma, I don't, I don't remember this name. I, you mean uh, sarma? No, it's spelled like this. Uh, hi, Rene. Hi, Rene. I don't have any idea. Survey. Hi, Rene. Hi, Rene. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Hey, Eric. Hi. How are you? Hey, fine. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Um, we're, we're just doing some small talk, um, waiting for some other students to arrive. But I, I think during this time, there's not many students because of the time difference. Everyone's uh, usually sleeping now, I think. Yeah, why why are you up so late, uh, Renee? <laughs> I don't know. I said I, I see one class, and I said I will I will be there. When, when do you usually go to sleep? Usually at two, two, two? in the morning. Okay. Yeah. I used to do two in the morning, but I can't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I found that Mr. Uh, Shay, lucky. Uh -huh. Sharma means donor. We say donor here in Turkey. Donor, okay. Yes, it's the same. It looks same. Yes, yes. Um, I, you know, the people in the Philippines here adopted shawarma because uh, mm -hmm. many Filipinos work in, in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's very popular here. Okay. Uh, hi, Milmo. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hi, how are you? Hey, welcome hi. back. Wow, well, only one new student today. Thank you. Today. Nice wow, to this see is you. cool. Yeah. Yes, you too. <laughs> okay. Um, Eric, where, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Colombia, okay. Yeah. Are you in Bogota? No, I'm in Medellin. Medellin. Okay, yeah. great. All right. Well, uh, this is uh, our reading class. So um, I prepared some lessons on a cool website where um, it offers a lot of questions and comprehension based uh, on the reading. So uh, I prepared two news articles for us. Um, one is uh, about IKEA, the uh, famous furniture company, and oh, then yeah. uh, the other is about a uh, crazy theme park in Korea. So um, we'll, I'll post the article in our chat box to make it easy. Um, I've been having some problems with screen share and YouTube, so. I'll just rely on the chat for this class. Um, all right. Well, okay. Before we start, just uh, introduce ourselves to those who don't know you. Um, let's do a quick introduction, starting with Yuri, Servet, Renee, Milmo, and Eric. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, uh, hi guys. Hi Juan. Uh, uh, my name is Yuri. Some of students uh, maybe remember me. Uh, I live in uh, Ukraine, Kyiv. I am 44. Uh, I work in a building company and um, uh, now I'm trying to improve to study my English. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Yuri. Yes. All right. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Oh. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Saret. Sorry. Uh, I'm from Turkey. I'm 23, and I like volleyball. That's it. Okay. Good. Mm, hi, my name is René. I'm from Mexico, and I like American football. Go Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Next okay. Demo. I am from Salvador. I'm 27 years old, and I work at school. And I'm here because I want to improve my English also. So okay. I need to. I must work a lot <laughs> for improving it, but it's okay. Okay. That's it, right? All right. I, I'm still trying to figure out how how you got this uh, nickname, this cool nickname, Nomo. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, right? Nomo. Yeah, it's cool. I don't it's know. Cool. I just I just think about. It. I just say, it's a Taiwan name. I say Nomo. That that sounds good. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so has has been something special for that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I. Uh, I, I, there was another guy uh, in the cl in my last class this morning uh, from El Salvador. Also, I asked him what you told me about pupusas, and uh, oh, yay. he said the same thing. You know, oh, you need to try this. Yes, yes. Uh, find this food; it's so good. You will oh, like them. Try. Yeah. All right. I, I, I'm looking for the recipe. I'll keep researching. So okay. is um, uh, yeah. I think yes. it's Milmo. Uh, say again. Excuse me. I think it was Milmo the, who said pupusas in was, your class. It wasn't Milmo. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. This is the second one saying pupusas in your class. Yeah. Well, no, I'm I'm gonna try to show. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna. It, it wasn't uh, Milmo, Renee? Trying to find a link and then I'm going to show you. Yeah, right? I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, it was Milmo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just pretend. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. All right, go ahead, Eric. Okay, okay. My, name is, my name is Eric. I'm 20 years old and I'm starting finance and international business and I'm here because uh, the English is an important tool for my for my career. I mean, it's mandatory for me, even. So I'd like to learn as much as I can. All right. Okay, great. Yeah, um, I studied finance in college. Also, I was a business major. Uh, I love finance, but I hate calculations. <laughs> <laughs> it's the easiest part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ismail, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, we're doing introductions. Ismail. Hello, my name is Ismail. I'm from Morocco. I'm a web developer and I study marketing in a master. Okay. Thank you, Ismail. Okay, guys. Well, um, I have two articles, hopefully not too boring, we can learn something from them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post the first one. It's um, actually, let's do a, a little uh, warm up. Okay. okay. Uh, the topic we're going to talk about is forced labor. Forced labor. Forced labor. Okay. Yeah. So um, maybe you can share your knowledge or experience that you know about forced labor from your country or other countries, 
Um, I can tell you there's some forced labor going on here in the Philippines. There's actually human trafficking where um, if you don't live in the capital city of Manila, if you live in the uh, provinces outside of Manila, basically these are very extremely poor areas. Um, you, you, there's no opportunities for jobs. There's uh, basically nothing. You have to just survive. And um, what illegal recruiters do here in Manila, they will send teams of recruiters out to the province looking for attractive young girls or um, maybe it's uh, a, a drug smuggler looking, looking for single mothers who are willing to travel abroad with the promise of a job or something like this. And uh, these people end up doing forced labor. Um, they get their passports taken away once they're in the foreign country. Um, they live in very poor conditions, you know, sleeping on the floor. And um, it's a huge problem here in this country. So I w I'm wondering if any of you all um, have some opinion about this. I can't see the difference between the Philippines and Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Philippines like Asian, Asian Mexico. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have that, that, that problem too. Uh, we here trafficked with uh, South immigrants mm -hmm. from... I mean, not, not we, because <laughs> I'm not. Um, now you uh, <laughs> Yeah, from El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, Paraguay, Peru. Mm -hmm. And they uh, have to, to pass through Mexico, mm -hmm. and uh, they take a, a train, they call it the Beast, La Bestia, uh -huh. and, and basically they're recruiting people for um, traffic people and getting to the drugs uh, cartels or organizations. And uh, even when Guadalajara is not in the in the pass, mm -hmm. they, right now uh, we have uh, a lot of people from the South America mm -hmm. and Central America, uh -huh. and it's kind of weird. Yeah, um, I saw a movie about this about this train. Um, I can't remember the name, but it was a uh, young girl, and uh, they, she had to fight off some gangster guys who were in control of uh, people coming oh. on that train. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the movie, but it, it was a very good movie. Me neither. It's in um, theaters right now. Oh. Yeah, it, it's hard. I, I, I mean, uh, you have to be completely sure to live your life in your country and risk everything because it's, it's really, really hard. We here in Mexico, we are very um, racist. It's, it's, it's a shame. Really, it's, it's a shame, but we are really racist with, with the poor people. Not with the with the people uh, from other countries, mm -hmm. but with the poor people, I think we are hard with them. Even with the uh, Indians in here, uh -huh. we are we are kind of discriminate the the in indigen indigenous. I don't know how to say it. Indigenous, indigenous. Yeah, yeah. People from from the mountains, from the Sierra, from the Sierra, mm -hmm. and it's a shame because even in the cities we discriminate the poor people. Mm. It's, it's hard to, to to say it. It's a shame. I'm. It's, it's just a, 
I'm not proud of that part of Mexico. Well, well, it's uh, you know, I, I'm guilty of it. You know, I I can walk outside my house and I see, you know, poor people squatting on the ground, they're covered in dirt. You know, um, but then. You know, I, I've had experiences where if I'm nice to these people, they'll try to take advantage of me, or or they're abusive in their behavior, and you know, try and say, "Oh, give me money," or "I'm hungry," you know. And then I, even when I give them something, they don't even have courtesy to say thank you. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, and and you know, if I get, some people, some poor people, if I give them money, they go buy drugs or they go. By uh, alcohol, so yes, yeah, I, I, I can understand why you can be a little discriminating, but you know, of course, I think there's more good people than than bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, in Mexico, is it's a, a, a case about one girl uh, used to sell gum, uh, bubble gum, in the streets. Uh -huh. And the girl it was blonde, uh, blue eyes. I read this white. story. Yes. yes. And the the people say, "Oh my God, poor kid. Uh, maybe he was stole from his parents, and we have to help him. And if you see a little a little kid." Um, Dark as skin, uh, dirty. You said you said no, thank you. Right. And with that blonde girl was really weird. Yes, I I saw the I, I read that story. It was maybe last week or two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, thanks, Renee. Any anyone else? Um, forced labor. Anyone have any? Opinion they'd like to give. In Turkey, I mm -hmm. never heard something like this. Uh, I mean, they don't take you another country. But I heard maybe one year ago, mm -hmm. some Russian woman tourist forced mm -hmm. to do uh, adultery, maybe. Uh, ah. As such, yeah. Mm. yeah. I don't know. It's disgusting. I. I have no uh, different knowledge from this. Yeah. Well, I, I know uh, in I worked in Korea. This was back in 2001, and they had uh, forced uh, they had forced some Russian and Philippine women into prostitution at this time, um, and it was lots of women. I mean, it wasn't like just you know, ten or twenty. It was like hundreds of women and um, the after the um, World Cup I think it was 2004 2004 World Cup the police cracked down on this uh, human trafficking in Korea because they didn't want to they didn't want people to know what was going on with human trafficking in Korea because you know a lot of tourists would come to Korea to see the World Cup that year so they kind of got the police to get rid of everybody so you know their image would have been ruined the, um, they, uh -huh. the worst thing about this they said the girls after they are um, after they are saved mm -hmm. they said pol police officers didn't help us police officer knew the situation Mm -hmm. And they used us, misused us, and didn't help us. This mm -hmm. is very. Well, well, Yuri, uh, do you have any comment? Mm, yes, uh, the same problem we have in Ukraine, but uh, maybe this problem are, n are not big as in Philippines or China or or other country. Uh, when uh, Soviet Union. Uh, failed to independence country. Ukraine uh, have a very big, uh, a very uh, good economy with big potential uh, f uh, 
we have uh, plants, factories, uh, minerals. But now, since uh, 20 years of e independence, a uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, powerful plants uh, were closed, and people uh, uh, was unemployers, and uh, to uh, uh, if they need to feed his family, uh, they should to go to uh, to Western Europe. It's uh, uh, young men and, and young women mm -hmm. uh, go to find a job, to find the money. The women often work as a prostitute in uh, in Germany, in Italy, and and uh, uh, women who are older uh, work as a hostess in family to uh, lead the uh, family business, cooking and cleaning a house. Mm -hmm. And this is a big problem uh, in in my country too. Now uh, I uh, I think uh, a little uh, uh, factories and plants are working in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a problem. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. I think it's. Uh, Worldwide, um, in some uh, prosperous countries, some wealthy countries seem to support this. Go ahead, Milmo. All right. Yeah. Well, I just got. Um, so sometimes people make children work after leaving school. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and but sometimes, um, you know, they. I don't know how 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 do you see? Oh, hold on. Let me let me. Right. Um, so they they send children to work. Mm -hmm. So because uh, you know their parents, sometimes their parents cannot work, but sometimes mm -hmm. they can. But you know, um, they have some different needs in home and has a lot of uh, siblings. You know, and also they need to buy food and clothes and but also sometimes oh well it's near from my neighbor not too much but uh, you know when in the um, well it's in the town so you can see or you can found so different children's around mm -hmm. the market you know selling fruits sell, selling vegetables and you know uh, different kind of things then sometimes they friends send them, mm -hmm. and they are just sitting and you know far from them, and then so you know just waiting for them to cancel the things because people when they when sometimes when you see that a uh, kid or you know is selling you something sometimes you say oh my god yeah I'm gonna buy right mm -hmm. because I'm gonna help him. Right. It's a little bit easier for them yeah. to sell the things, and also the prostitution, you know, with girls and well, there are a lot of things more, but you know, yeah, sure. I think that's just that's it. <laughs> okay, Ed the yacht wants to join. Uh, you have to, yeah, he should be able to join. Okay, all right, uh, Eric, any anything, any comment? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that's not actually uh, a, f a kind of forced labor, but because there is no one that is forcing you to do that thing, but the sorcery, the poorness forces you to, for example, trafficking with drugs mm -hmm. or murdering for hire. I think it's also a kind of forced uh, labor because uh, most of those people have families behind them that depend economically of those persons and it's a very difficult 
problem, a difficult social issue here in Colombia. It's 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 not as it was in I don't know two decades ago where Colombia was on a on a dark uh, situation. The government is working now to working on in, to giving uh, education for child and giving more um, employees, I don't know, working on the economy, but there are still um, peop uh, also people think in trafficking with drugs and and killing because it's maybe a, a easy way to, to get money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Some some people have families, and some people are willing to do it. Like you said, um, I know murder for hire for sure. That also exists here in the Philippines, and uh, also uh, prostitution. Some women are want to do it because they feel like they can provide for their family. But um, the examples I gave is like where, you know, in this country, women are very good at singing. Women in the Philippines love to sing. And, um, you know, a lot of these girls have very beautiful voices. So um, you will have this recruiter who will say, okay, um, I, I want to offer you a singing job in Japan or a singing job in Singapore. Yeah. But then when that girl arrives to Japan or Singapore, she's thrown into some nightclub where she's forced into prostitution. And it still sure. happens in China. There are a lot of women working in Hong Kong prostitution mm -hmm. and China is a, now it's a new power market. You know, I think sure. so. Yes. I don't know if you... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let's go. I'm sorry, I don't know if, if somebody have uh, seen, um, it's a movie, it's, it's on back, but on back, I say, I don't know, it's a guy from Philippines and it and it's talking, it talks about, uh, about, um, let me see, of uh, Eric is saying, mm. you know, they has, there's a, it's kind of a restaurant, mm -hmm. and they have uh, money, you know, and but they have people. Um, how do you say? Sequestra. I don't. I don't know. Um, but they take the people. Rape. They, mm -hmm. You know, yeah, okay. trip. And then so they also say it's about prostitution and kind of things about that. So now. <laughs> now I can I can understand, but because sometimes we cannot see uh, a kind of movies, <laughs> that yes. kind of movies, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. but now it's a how do you say that it's true, you know? Mm. So you can't know about what is happening in the world, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it you know it, once you travel and learn about other people's countries, it definitely makes me appreciate you know where I come from. Um, yeah, okay, well, um, I'm going to post the first part, well, I'll post all of the article, and then if someone can volunteer, um, I'd like you to yes, I can read it. aloud. Okay. Yes. okay, yes, that's, that's all of the article, okay, can, can someone read it? Yes, I can read it. Okay. 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 One of the Sweden's most famous companies has apologized for selling products made in communist prisons. The furniture giant IKEA said it deeply regrets buying furniture that was made using forced labor in prisons in East Germany over 20 years ago. IKEA is famous for its modern clean designs and reasonable prices. However, few people knew about the dark period in its history. 
The company now admits the political prisoners in communist East Germany were forced to make sound furniture so IKEA 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 stores across the world. This was before the fall of the Berlin Wall, when Germany was split into IKEA manager Janet uh, Skelmos told reports, we deeply regret that this could happen. Okay. Yeah, so um, does anyone know the history about Germany? Yeah. Sure. Maybe, Yuri, uh, you, you mentioned Germany before. Maybe you could talk a little more about this. Okay. Uh, Germany, uh, when, the, uh, when the Second World War finished, the Germany uh, was parted to, uh, into uh, two parted, uh, Western Germany and uh, Eastern Germany. Uh, Western Germany uh, was a capitalistic country and Eastern uh, uh, socialistic, yeah, a socialist country. Uh, when in Soviet Union uh, President uh, 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 Gorbachev uh, uh, lead the country. Uh, uh, he uh, he lead uh, perestroika. Maybe you know. And in this time, uh, Germany uh, un uh, united. The wall uh, between two uh, part of Germany uh, was broken, mm -hmm. and Germany. Uh, became a, a unique country. Uh, now it's unique country. Capital is uh, Berlin in uh, uh, Western uh, German uh, capital was born in Eastern uh, Berlin. Uh, now uh, Berlin it's unique capital of all Germany and uh, maybe that's all. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, East Germany at the time um, was uh, forcing uh, political prisoners in the communist part of East Germany to make furniture, and uh, this furniture was sold around the world. Has anyone heard of IKEA? IKEA yeah. furniture? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I heard. Okay. okay. Go serve it. Go serve it. Go ahead, no, uh, just okay. go ahead. Serve it. Okay, IKEA stores. Uh, we have IKEA stores in Turkey, in Istanbul. It's very common. Very big stores. Sure. No. Um. All right. What well, What about you, Renee? I heard of a teacher who was proud of the IKEA stores, and uh -huh. here in Mexico we don't have IKEA. Well, he said it was uh, reliable. He can auto, I don't know, what is it? Self. Uh, he can get the the wood and the, the trees, and we, they they have like one tree and plant uh, four trees. And he was proud. Uh, I wonder what 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 he will. You would think when I <laughs> I say this to mm -hmm. him. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. I m many people associate IKEA furniture as sort of uh, cheap, low quality furniture. Um, but I think uh, they make some stylish stuff. You know, it, it's not you know bad furniture. It's not like furniture from Walmart. Um, so, uh, yeah, maybe he was proud because he has something new and, and comfortable. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, um, all right. I'm just going to ask you guys some questions. Uh, what, what, what springs to mind when you hear the word furniture? Um, sofa. Yeah. Tables. Yeah. Um, Chairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
What's what's your most uh, important piece of furniture? For me, <laughs> so for me, the sofa, <laughs> the bed, because it's in front of the tree. <laughs> Renee says bed. How, how about you, Servet? Oh, I don't. Uh, I don't use uh, furniture. Furniture no. bed. No. Oh. Uh, I sleep on the floor. We have oh. some wool uh, beds. I don't know if you know. Yes, um, like a rattan, rattan, rattan bed, maybe? Rattan, I don't know this word, but yeah. Oh, wool, wool. Oh, okay, wool. Yes, I got wool it. Bed, what handmade, wool made, yeah. So, I think couch is the most important. Couch, yes. All right. Mm. Uh, how about you, Eric? Couch? Uh, I could sleep in the sofa, so the sofa is more <laughs> proud for me. Okay. You too, Milno, the sofa? I don't know. H has has two usings? No, no, Sitting no, no, and uh, watching movies and also sleeping. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, I like the bed. <laughs> Yeah, sofa and bed, probably the top sofa two. Sofa and bed, uh, yeah. It depends on the situation. In bedroom with sofa, yes. In uh, in uh, uh, when I'm working, it's a table and chair. In and when I'm kitchen, it's kitchen table and uh, I don't know, and kitchen chair. It's it depends on situation. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Well, uh, yeah, I, I think a sofa is very important uh, because you know visitors can sleep on your your sofa. Like, um, do you guys know the website Couchsurfing. dot dot com? Mm. No. no, 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 really. This is a cool <laughs> website. Send us a link. All right, I will show you guys this website. Um, okay, it's oh couch God. couch surfing is uh, a website and you click on the country that you want to visit so let's say let's let's use uh, Rene for example he's in Mexico City and uh, he wants to go to uh, Veracruz <coughs> to for three days he can go on couchsurfing.com and find people that live in Veracruz and then uh, ask them to sleep on their couch for free and if the person says yes then you can meet them and sleep at their house so it's like a free way to uh, travel and sleep on people's couch so this is uh, couch surfing uh, it's yeah it's cool um, and you can make you know new friends or Let's say, Eric, someone's coming to Colombia, they'll contact you and say, Hi, I'm Juan, I'm coming to Medellin, I'd like to sleep on your couch for two days. And then, uh, you know, it's a cool way to, to meet people. Oh. And it's free. <laughs> yeah, totally free, yes. Yeah, you just have to uh, become a member. Okay. <laughs> All right, back to, back to our topic. Uh, what do you think of IKEA? Who, who likes IKEA, or <clears throat> who has uh, IKEA furniture? Nobody. No. Okay. Uh, my friend have uh, furniture from this company, but they said it's uh, cheaper, but not a good quality. Mm. It's uh, for five or ten years, uh, not more. Yeah, um, I, I've, I've learned from buying furniture that you have to be very careful. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, because they have <clears throat> so many ways to hide things inside the furniture, and then by the time you find out that the materials of the furniture is, you know, fake or not good quality yeah. you you've already spent your money so uh, yeah I, I've learned my lesson about cheap furniture um, yeah so um, I, I in my opinion I think IKEA is 
uh, middle middle range quality. Mm -hmm. You know, not not high end, not the cheapest, um, but it's it's affordable furniture. Okay. Afford, afford, affordable. Afford, affordable. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Check that one. Okay. Do you think all companies have dark stories? Like IKEA has this dark story about forced labor. Do you think all companies have dark stories? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you give an example? I don't know. I've heard that Nike, the Nike balls, were, Nike. yeah, they are. And um, if kids in the Middle East work to make that that product, I don't know if it's real or it's just fake, but maybe it could be a yeah, um, yeah. Nike definitely has a dark history. They've been known to uh, make shoes and and uh, other products using um, not only child labor, but also poor uh, working conditions um, where, you know, people are earning like $2 a day, but they're making um, Air Jordans that sell for $100 in the U.S. Um, yeah, sure. Apple forced labor. Apple, yeah, good one. Apple, uh, you're eating. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I heard uh, in a new, uh, new, uh, newspaper l uh, long ago, um, uh, not long ago, uh, uh, there was a situation when uh, when Apple computer used uh, for split, uh, uh, labor of Chinese citizen. Mm -hmm. as, uh, the, the, uh, uh, they work in uh, uh, gloomy uh, condition, uh, s uh, small children and s and uh, 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 work hard for uh, 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 for little s uh, salary. Mm -hmm. it's, it it was a problem uh, uh, to prestige of Apple. Yeah, um, yeah. It, it, I I just read this today and said. Yeah. Um, it, it, it it was two or three <coughs> weeks ago. I heard from uh, my friends uh, who read this in newspaper. Maybe uh, you, uh, you, uh, you, uh, European new, new newspaper, uh, not Ukrainian. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I just read something today. It said the the cost for the iPhone. Yeah. It, if if you want to know the real whatever the iPhone sells for in your country, you should divide that number. You should divide that number by seven. Oh. oh okay. And that is the original cost to make that iPhone in China. So uh, Apple actually uh, gets a seven hundred percent profit on every iPhone that they sell, which is incredible. Um, most companies can't do this, but Apple's so popular, people so crazy about this product. Especially, well, I've, I've never seen a country so crazy about the iPhone as China. I think everyone tries to get an iPhone in China. Somebody tried to sell a kidney. Yeah. Well, no. This if one girl. You heard that, I Yeah, this one girl in China. She sold her virginity for an iPhone. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay, you did you want to say something, Eric? Um, I don't know. Uh, oh no. No, no, no. It's okay. All right. Um. Yeah, can I say something? Okay, okay go ahead. Uh, in Turkey, I'm not about if 
there is uh, forced labors, but mm -hmm. uh, usually companies mm, may see through their their waste, their contamination to environment, to natural environment, or to seas, or maybe they are harmful, harmful smoke, harmful fish, uh, how do you into the air. Uh, so I don't think there is so clean company. Every company makes something harmful. I heard uh, I heard Apple not using Apple is not using environment um, uh, materials anymore. Mm -hmm. To make more profit. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, more companies are now trying to focus on more environmentally friendly, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, ways to produce products. You know, so they don't create waste. I know China does not. That 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 country doesn't care. They just want money. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> But uh, most most other countries, um, you know, make some kind of effort, or, or companies make some kind of effort. Yes. Okay. Um, next question: Do companies care about profits more than working conditions? Yeah. Yeah. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. Can you think of any company that uh, cares more about the working condition? No. <laughs> no. I know Ford, one. Ford I was an, a company where it started. They have they pay well, good, but the 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 condition of the employees were so bad. They have to work a lot of time. I I can only think of one company. Uh, I worked for uh, LG. Do you all know LG? Um, yeah. 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 I worked for them for about six <coughs> months, and the work conditions were excellent. We had like, uh, you know, uh, servers bringing food to the classroom. I was I was teaching um, business English students. You know, we had like uh, servers coming to the classroom and. We had an espresso and cappuccino mochiato machine outside to, uh, you know, I could just drink all the best coffee. And, like, for lunch, we would have these fancy uh, gourmet dinner, or gourmet lunches and gourmet dinners made by a chef. And I thought, wow, this, uh, this company really knows how to take care of their employees. And... Um, the only complaint that I heard from employees was that uh, their salary was lower than, you know, competitor companies like Samsung or or uh, Nokia. The the employees from these other companies earn more money, but the conditions weren't as good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, but if, if you work awesome. like this, you have to gain less money. Right. Yes. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I yeah, think uh, Colingo, uh, <coughs> the teachers uh, working at Colingo are glad. <laughs> Maybe Colingo's conditions. Good. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, point, they are not making profit at all. Yeah, I, I think uh, the conditions are good. Yeah, for Kalingo, uh, I just wish YouTube would work a little better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I went. I went to in a class. What was weird? Because uh, there are. I don't know if you know Stefan. Stefan. And he was uh, alone in the class, and I about to get in. And one guy from California gets in and starts to questioning uh, Stefan, like he was an investment. How can he find the the Colingo? How much 
the game, uh, if the classes, I don't know, it's a very, very weird class. Uh, maybe he was asking him, you know, two, two personal questions, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I, um, I, well, a lot of students ask me about Kalingo, you know, why is this class free? Um, how does this company make money? You know, I just say, uh, you know, I, I think uh, someone is being, yeah, I, I just think someone's being very generous and um, is, is it, it's, it's, uh, it's an opportunity to provide students who maybe do not have the ability to um, attend English courses the you know you have the chance to 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 study English you know without paying as of now so um, you know some some students with Kalinko maybe they've never met someone from from the United States or or they've never um, been inside an English classroom yeah, so, me. Um, the best example is me. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go, <laughs> sir. Matt. Yeah, so um, you know, I think what the company is doing is is fantastic. Yeah, um, I, I've yes, seen it others, is. Yeah, I, I've seen other programs, but they don't work as well as this one. You know, like uh, with Skype in the classroom. Um, you know, there's a bunch of online services that charge money, but of course, who who wants to pay, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a problem. No, sometimes it's not that you don't want to pay, so sometimes mm -hmm. you cannot pay. <laughs> sure, sure, that's right. yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, you know, like um, here in Asia, you know, the people in Korea, Japan, China, they spend billions of dollars on on English learning and um, you know they take it very seriously because if you want to basically in these countries if you want to have a great job if you want to be able to provide well for your family um, you have to know English at a certain level at a fluent level yeah so um, yeah um, you know they, they take it seriously but um, yeah, maybe the guy, Rene, he was just curious, you know, and then I've, I've learned that in some cultures, people, it, it's acceptable in some cultures for people to ask personal questions like your salary, when's the last time you kissed your girlfriend, you know, this, this kind of stuff. <laughs> he was actually an investment. He said he was, wants to invest with Benjamin, and oh, wow. that, that's weird uh, um, because I'm about uh, close to press the join hangout, and I heard I'm from California, and I said why? <laughs> why one of people from California wants to join in a perfect English? <laughs> I heard, <laughs> and I said what? Well, believe it or not, some people from America don't know English. <laughs> no. Yeah, like, uh, you, you'd be surprised. Like, um, the average American, if I said, hey, uh, you know, hey, Joe, where is Ukraine? Where is El Salvador? Where is Colombia? Oh, isn't that near uh, Florida? Isn't that kind of next to Hawaii? <laughs> you know, they have, they have no idea. Um, <laughs> see, you'd be surprised um, the ignorance that exists in, in the U.S. <laughs> yeah, because my my country is ooh, small, too small, and in, in the you know in the map. You cannot see my country, and then sometimes people get confused because there's a place named uh, San Salvador, Salvador in, in Brazil, and then some people, oh, Brazil, no, Central America, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of that. The, a lot of people don't know my country, but uh, what? So I, it's okay. I, I, <laughs> so because sometimes I don't know. I heard 
a bueno, I've been learning different countries, the name of different countries that I never heard before. Really I haven't uh, how's the right way to say it? I haven't heard before, right? Yes, yeah. I haven't heard before. Uh huh. Yeah, but yeah. and that's oh my god, what's something well, new for me? Well, I I've yeah. heard of I, I love studying geography when I was younger, so I know most countries, but I've never had the opportunity to meet anyone from from these countries. So, you know, this is what I really like about Kalingo. I, I never thought that I would have the chance yeah. to teach students from Colombia or students from Ukraine or, or Mexico or, or Turkey, you know. I, this has always been something I've I've wanted to do, and in my mind, I thought, okay, when I have enough money saved and when I'm, you know, financially uh, situated, I can take a flight to Turkey or take a flight to the UK and Ukraine and maybe, uh, you know, you know, finally have a chance to work there, and meet meet these uh, people, new cultures. But you know, this. This is much better. <laughs> yeah. All right. Same situation here as a student, of course. Before calling the classes, I wanted to find a, a person. I didn't have even a Turkish English teacher. Uh -huh. At the schools, at, there was no teacher. There is English lesson, but there is no teacher. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. Uh, now I have many teachers. I can join every sure. classes. I have many teachers. That's good. We say uh, in Turkish we have a saying. We say um, free vinegar is more sweeter than more sweet than honey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, guys, that's almost our time. Thank you for joining. I'll be back. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'll be back in about uh, seven hours. Okay. Yeah. In case you, seven any hours. of you, are around. I have a question for you, Juan. Uh huh. Go ahead. What is the debate theme for your class tomorrow? Uh, I haven't thought about it yet. <laughs> oh, man. Um, uh, I want to be prepared. Okay. Um, can add, you me, make add me on Facebook and I'll send you a message. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes, because uh, I would like to know what time, uh, you know, your classes or how to get any of your classes back. You yeah, know. Um, you, you go on the Kalingo site and look.